guys. It's uh, Brian here at the Awaken Youth Center, and we got Easter coming up around the corner, and we haven't seen you guys in so long. I really just wanted to record something and get out to you, encourage you, let you know we miss you, and that we can't wait to see you again, and we hope that everything is well, and uh, that hopefully this is all over soon, and we'll see you guys soon. But until then, we want to try and put out some videos and some messages to help encourage you in this weird and different time. Um, I know it's Easter, and Easter isn't always um, this way. You know, normally you see Easter stuff everywhere you're traveling, you're seeing family. There's normally a very different pattern to the way Easter looks. And this can kind of create fear, you know. This can bring fear into our lives where we don't really know what's around the corner and, and we're not sure um, what's going to happen for the health of our family or the way that school's going to be. Are we going to see our friends again? And, you know, how are the grades going to end up? You know, what's going to happen? And, and uncertainty can bring fear. And we all have things we're afraid of. And if we're all being honest, I think all those fears kind of boil down to a fear of death. And, and not just death of life. And, and not to be, you know, morose. I know you're probably thinking, like, I'm afraid of bad grades, and you're talking about death, but um, if you think about death as the ending of something, then you can think of your grades taking a turn because of this, and that ending your reputation as someone who's good at school or good in a class, or, you know, you think about maybe not being as popular or not seeing your friends, you think about the ending of a relationship and that fear, or the, or the death of, of that relationship, that friendship, so... And I'm not trying to be too scary, it's not death in general, but like the ending of something. And um, it can be scary, you know, like if I were to be honest, I mean, when I was in high school and after for a little while, I was very afraid of loneliness, you know, of being alone. As, as, and, and right now, I know a lot of you, uh, some of you are probably pretty extroverted and, and you're missing people or you're, you're stuck at home with just your family and you're getting sick of them, you know. And that can be all of us, and it, it can be trying, and it can be tough, but um, we really want to encourage you with the, the Easter story and just remind you that, you know, there's a lot to learn from what Jesus did for us, and, and that he came to take away our fear, and that he conquered death. And what we want to look at is Paul. Um, Paul was somebody who was creating fear in Christians by threatening death. He used death as a way to threaten Christians and try to get them to unbelieve um, until he met Jesus. And when he met Jesus, the resurrected Jesus, it really turned his life around. He went from being somebody who instilled fear in others to someone without fear and living outside of fear and being a, a brave man of God. You know, one of the, um, in one of the letters to the Corinthians, it says, death is swallowed up in victory. O oh, death, where is your victory? O oh, death, where is your sting? And so that ending of something, you know, we can, we can lean and trust in Jesus because he's been there. He's been here. He's here to encourage us. He's here with us. He knows what this is like. Even though it may seem like nobody knows what this is like because we've never experienced anything like this before. Jesus does. He can, he can see us in our situations. And he can meet us in our hardships. And, you know, Paul became a brave man. He was spreading the gospel even when it, it took him to his death. Even when it was, they threatened him with death, he still believed and still carried that gospel. And he didn't live in fear. You know, fear isn't necessarily a bad thing. Fear is an emotion. Fear is a feel. You know, it's something we feel inside of us. But when we let our fear overcome us, then it can be detrimental to our health and our well-being. And so we don't want to let death, um, the fear overcome us. We want, we want fear to be able to be something that we can live with and we can overcome. And Jesus is here to help us do that. Um, so we want to apply this to our lives. In Romans, it says, The Spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead lives in you. And if the Spirit of God that lives in us is the same Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead, then what truly do we have to fear? You know, those of us who have Jesus in our lives, who have Christ in our lives, we can be encouraged because Jesus is with us. 
he sees us. And, and even in the ultimate, you know, end of our life, we know that we do not, it does not end there. That is not the end, it is the beginning. And we go on to live eternally with Jesus. And I really just want to encourage you guys, I know that this can be a fearful time, and it can be very trying. But um, as we go through this Easter series, this Easter season, um, we want to be able to send some stuff like this out to you. Hopefully it'll get um, more, it'll get bigger, it'll get better. Um, with practice, we'll get a little more excellent at it. It won't just be me. We'll see others popping in. But I want you to know, I want you to know that we miss you. Uh, we miss being here with you. And we can't wait to see you. So as, as I get ready to leave, I just want to pray over you guys and leave you with that prayer. Um, dear Heavenly Father, I just thank you so much for this place and this time. And um, I know that, that this is a time, it's a temporary period, and that this is being overcome. And that we will be stronger through the, the, this, that you will use this to equip us. This was not your plan, this was not your design. You did not send this here to disrupt us. But you will use it for your good, Lord. You turn all evil to be used for your good. And I thank you for that. Dear God, I thank you for being with us, for bringing us peace and joy in a trying time. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, guys. Hope to see you soon.